Here's everything we know so far about Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, including all the upcoming Battle Pass skins and rewards, brand new bosses and mythic weapons, and even the end of the season live event that's going to absolutely destroy Fortnite's island. We're going to be covering everything in today's video, so make sure to stick around, and if you guys need a Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass or any of the new skins from the item shop, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite shop. You guys make all the giveaways and videos possible, so thank you so much for all the support. But for starters, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 is going to be following a Greek mythological theme with Greek gods and goddesses actually being featured in the new Season 2 Battle Pass. We know this because for one, we actually did find an early teaser that Fortnite secretly added on the map that showcases a poster for the Odyssey 6 with a coming soon text on the bottom. And along with this, we can see six mysterious gods gods or goddesses up on the mountain floating, which are probably going to be some of the new battle pass skins that we are going to be showing you guys later in the video. All surrounding a Greek temple, which is supposed to mimic Zeus's temple up on the massive mountain. And to further go with this, there's also 16 different skin concepts that are available in Fortnite skin survey right now that all mimic and replicate different Greek gods and goddesses from the Greek mythological times. Here is a quick overview of all of these. Obviously they are just skin surveys, so they are 2D and they are not what the final version would look like if they are featured in Season 2's Battle Pass. But it still gives you a pretty good idea and along with this we also have some really really well made concepts for all of these different Greek gods and survey skins that are actually brought to life in the Season 2 Battle Pass so you guys can get a better idea of what some of these skins, Battle Pass rewards are actually going to look like once the Season 2 update drops later next month. Now the third reason we know that next season is going to be following the Greek mythological times is due to more information found in Fortnite's files with upcoming bosses and NPCs. It was found that two out of the five new NPCs and bosses in Season 2 actually have code names in the files currently as Aga C and Aga Z, which people think are actually bosses for Cerberus and Zeus, which are two Greek gods. And the reason this makes sense is because it was also found that along with the Aga Z code name in the files, Fortnite also added a new lightning spawn effect, which of course course only makes sense if it was Zeus because he is the god of thunder and lightning. No other NPCs or bosses should have an ability like this. So this just further confirms that we are going to be getting Greek god bosses on the Fortnite map and they're actually going to have custom spawn abilities that will drain your HP a part of their unique abilities and attacks based on obviously what Greek god it is. Now in terms of the secret skin for chapter 5 season 2, I also have a very interesting theory here that I think you guys are going to want here. But that theory is that next season's Battle Pass secret skin is actually going to be a collab skin, which really isn't surprised because Fortnite has done this a lot of times in the past, but that collaboration skin would actually be between Fortnite and One Piece, and more specifically, we would get a Monkey D. Luffy skin or one of the main characters from One Piece as a Battle Pass secret skin in Season 2. The reason this makes a lot of sense is because it was just found by a bunch of Fortnite data miners that Fortnite and One Piece are rumored to have a Fortnite collaboration very, very soon. And this was also confirmed by the Xbox era podcast, who were also the ones that previously leaked the Ninja Turtle collab, the Doom Slayer, and Avatar collabs, which were all stuff that came recently and featured in Fortnite's Chapter 5's new seasons. So clearly these guys have a very reliable insider source at Epic. They do know what collaborations are coming in a pretty good order. And if they said One Piece is coming soon, that means it very well could be featured in Season 2's Battle pass as a secret skin. And of course, along with this, we could potentially get a One Piece boss along with some really cool mythics based off the show. A lot of anime mythics and collaborations seem to be very popular here in Fortnite, so I would not be surprised if this does end up coming true, and I really do hope that it is a big part of the next season. And the final curveball coming in the Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass and new storyline characters is the fact that Midas is actually going to be returning to Fortnite's storyline in next season. We know this for multiple different different reasons found in Fortnite's files that they are secretly trying to work on behind the scenes without us knowing, but it was found that Midas's drum gun just recently got updated with new animations and stats, which that would not be happening unless they were planning on having it return. Along with that, Marigold's yacht was also renamed to Midas's yacht in Fortnite's files, which again, unless that was returning and unless Midas was being a prominent feature in next season, they would not be spending their time and resources doing this. And it was also just found that Fortnite 
they added a custom Midas Presents Floor is Lava LTM, which is a very popular LTM that we've not seen in Fortnite for quite some time. And it appears that Midas is going to be directly connected to this new version of it once it drops in season two, which further confirms that he will be returning in some way, shape or form. Whether or not we get a new Midas variant in Fortnite chapter five season two's battle pass, or if the OG just comes back in the storyline and lore, I think all of us can agree that Midas returning would be awesome. He is a fan favorite character from one of the most popular seasons in Fortnite's history. So it only makes sense for him to come back, especially because he is grouped in with the Greek gods. So it does fit perfectly with the Greek mythology theme that season two is most likely going to be following. And for the first time in Fortnite's history, there actually might be a chapter five season one end of the season live event that actually has to do with the glaciers melting. And trust me, you guys are going to want to keep watching this part of the video because this event could potentially be insane. The reason we know a live event is even possible to begin with, even though Fortnite's never done it on the first season of a new chapter, is mainly because Fortnite data miners found that in Fortnite's API, chapter five season one is set to end on March 8th, but chapter five season two is not going to go live until March 9th, which means we are going to either have a very long downtime or a possible live event to fill that 12 hour gap. And this does make a lot of sense for multiple different reasons. In case you guys have not been paying attention to the map changes on Fortnite's island, the massive glacier is quickly melting away, causing the plane to slowly slide down the hill and by the end of the season, most likely fall off the cliff. And the reason this is significant is because it was also just added in Fortnite's files after the last update that they are actually going to have subtle earthquakes start happening towards the end of this season. And of course, we all know that earthquakes usually tie in with the glacier and polar peak events that we saw back in chapter one, season seven. If you guys were not playing Fortnite back in the glory days, we had something very similar happen where earthquakes occurred randomly on the island and a polar peak monster emerged from a massive glacier on on the map, which seems to be the trend that we are following here in Fortnite Chapter 5. As the glacier melts away and the earthquakes start, we're probably going to be getting a huge crack in this glacier and mountain part of the area in the icy glacier part of the map. And for all we know, the polar peak monster or some type of variant could potentially come out since we now know that Fortnite Zero Point allows us to travel to different realities and we potentially could be in one where the polar peak monster won the fight over the giant robot and is still alive. There's also been rumors and speculation about Godzilla being a collab live event also coming out of the ice sculptures. If you guys want more information on that, I actually did make a full video going in depth. So make sure to go check that out after this video is over. It's a pretty interesting theory and I think it's actually pretty possible. Now, along with a live event and new battle pass with skins and rewards, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 is also going to be bringing some brand new gameplay mechanics that we have never seen before. For starters, it was confirmed by data miners that found this information in the files that Epic is working on a new car hijacking feature and this is what we know about it so far. You'll be able to hijack other players' cars, it will have a cooldown and the action can be canceled so you won't be able to spam it and you can cancel it out if you decide that carjacking is just not the right play at the time. And finally, a hijacking can fail if the driver takes a sharp enough turn or if the vehicle is going too quick, which I think is really cool because it does add somewhat of an element of realism to this new mechanic, even though Fortnite obviously is not meant to be realistic at all. I think it'll make it a lot more balanced and it will probably feel kind of similar to the carjacking feature we have in GTA 5. Along with this, it was also found by data miners that Fortnite is working on new weapon mods and types of categories for this that you guys will be able to customize and add on future weapons in Chapter 5 Season 2. For starters, the new type of weapon mod is actually known as Weapon Amps, and this is the four different types of weapon amps that we are going to be expecting in Season 2. We have the Fire Bullets, we have bullets that give stamina per hit, which is actually a very interesting one. I'm excited to see how that plays out. We have Automatic Fire, which is an amp that will take semi-auto weapons and make them automatic. And finally, we have a crit damage multiplier. So depending on what body parts you hit the enemies in and the range, this amp can allow you to have crit damage multiplier and do extra damage. And in terms of the normal weapon mods that we already have in Fortnite currently, there's also four new ones 
getting added, which is long barrel, the triple barrel, muzzle brake, and the overload magazine, which are all going to be customizable in the weapon bench. And also you're going to be able to find these on the random weapons that you find on the floor once the loot pool is updated in chapter five, season two. But with all that being said, that's all we got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and let me know if you guys are hyped and excited for chapter five, season two, which is coming up here very soon. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.